Uganda, a country torn apart by one of Africa's bloodiest civil wars. Rebel commanders deploy kids to commit unthinkable atrocities. The infamous President Museveni has stabilized most of the country through his 30-year reign, but Uganda still struggles to end the conflict. Kampala, Uganda's capital city, is attracting young social entrepreneurs eager to use technology to improve the quality of life for its people. William Golding writes in The Lord of Flies that the greatest ideas are the simplest. Meet Joshua Okello. Before even graduating from college, he designed an ultrasound app for smartphones with his partner, Aaron Tishabe. They had grown frustrated with the high infant and maternal mortality rates in childbirth and pregnancy. And the number of reasons uh, you know, that lead to this, they all revolve around cost, around distance, around equipment. So it's something that really spoke to us. Most clinics can't afford an ultrasound, so a baby's heartbeat is monitored by a 100-year-old device called the Pinard horn. We modified this, and then on top of that, we have an app. The app diagnoses, alerts, and suggests courses of action. Even I less experienced medical personnel can provide close to the same standard of care that you know, a person in a more affluent area gets. We decided to put it to the test. We found a maternity clinic in Kampala and met up with a midwife named Joy. How many babies have you delivered uh, in your career so far? Ah, about 200. Ruth is pregnant with her first child. She came to the clinic after falling down at home and was worried she might have lost her baby with the fall. First, Joy demonstrates the old method of checking a baby's heartbeat. You have to listen and count, count with, with, with a clock. And then the new one. You just connect here and put here. Then you begin measuring. That's the heartbeat. That's the heartbeat of the baby. This one is better because she is also sure that her baby is alive. Joshua isn't the only one using technology to provide people with better access to health care. There's a time when we're going to not have malaria in Africa, and that time is coming soon. Meet Josh and Brian, students at Makarere University. They created a mobile app for malaria diagnosis. Accurate diagnosis is the most important step in eradicating the disease because it prevents people from seeking wrong treatment. Traditional testing requires using needles to draw blood, but the Madubabu app uses a light sensor to detect malaria from red blood cells. Even though the app is still in development, the hope is that this fast and accessible tool could have a major impact. Malaria targets expecting mothers and young kids. The disease kills more children under five than HIV AIDS in Sub-Saharan Africa. We learned that Joy is also treating Ruth for malaria. Ruth agreed to help us demonstrate how the app works. So all she does is to plug in her finger and said here, and then I say start here. It takes around 60 seconds. This is a good device for someone who doesn't necessarily have access to a hospital True. or a clinic. True, so it's finished. Okay. So we, what you're going to do is you're going to check the results and message them to that doctor. Yes, the message. Oh, her cell phone is ringing because he just texted her. What does it say? Your results are positive. Visit a doctor. This thing, if I have it, it will stop drug misuse and abuse. Because most people, when they feel that they have a fever, they rush to buy drugs for malaria without knowing whether they have malaria or not. It's a genius. Despite their successes, things have not been easy for these trailblazers. Our greatest challenge, finance and then mindset. There's a general mindset that things that are made in Africa are not good enough. How do you deal with that? Um, as a Ugandan? Persistence. As African innovators, we have something really big you know, to offer to the world stage. The sort of conditions that we work in are much more difficult than other innovators out there. You know? And like I said, pressure makes diamonds. I think that that's the one thing that you know, keeps us running.